get this part out of the way. Some people enter the neon belly position from the head arm side control. And um, I think that, that is because it's a counter value, I don't think that's the best I think. Not a lot of people I run into use this, but everybody I run into uses head arm side control, right? So when I talk about the tragedy of neon belly, the biggest tragedy of head arm side control, and well, this text me the debate later, but there are no submissions. You can't you cannot submit someone for head arm. Well, you gonna maybe maybe you broke their jaw with an overhand, and then they they tap to the shoulder on the jaw. I've seen that happen. But you have to with that arm under the head. What, what are you gonna submit them with? Right? And then so it's a pin. It's one of four hand, hand placements in side mount, but it's not the one that I, I use to go to the open. Right? It is the one I see people using when they want to tap people in the open. Right? So can I use it real quick? Here we go. Talk about tapping people in the open. But the people are like, okay, I'm here, and then they'll go like that. See, I got it. Plus, you know, there is some application, obviously, to have a grip here. I can show it. But I have to start pulling my hand out, step over. I have to start doing things. Here's, you know what? If I'm right here, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> right on a submission or here it's very contextual maybe he has a guillotine on and i am able to do like a blind flip but it's, it's then it's like well he was attacking and he was probably past his guard and it, it, it's very contextual right so when people try and move from head arms i'm out to the elbow watch what we do <coughs> Start, start in the head arm side mount, please. Yes, right here. Now, see this? So first, I'm just kind of bridging with my feet to put some weight on his arm. Kind of trapping it there for a sec, right? So first, just go ahead and move the knee on belly. Go ahead, just like I did. Yes, come back. Okay, so now I'm bridging a little bit. Go ahead and do that again. Here. I want to lift you up. Here. Okay. Which one is this way? But the, the, the one that's one. It's it, I, I set up the old belly, and here it is in the side for her. Right? So it's one of the no. But here, he's just connected on your chest. And you put it behind the back and rotate. We'll just finish that north south on the beach. Okay, so he's got kind of on leg now. And I feel that he's going, he's kind of disconnected going to me on belly. Right here. I've already got this. Even if you want to stand up here, you can do that. I stand up to the arm bar and show like this. Right? So, like, there is some application of that. You, I, I don't do this personally, but some people will do a bicep pressure for people up like that. It's not something I use, but I've definitely seen it. Right? But when you come up, Grab this with help. This is something I've seen a lot of, but like, Richard Dixon, he was like all about it. Like, no, everybody just, or like, if you're not already doing this, you might as well do it. There's nobody in there doing it. So, but here, it, it keeps it connected to my chest. So when I do something like stand up, look how he comes with me. Right? So, here, you do one of me. You lay down. So it's kind of like a telephone for this arm. Right? And you're just kind of thinking about it. You're like a Kimura in me to make me roll. So, kind of base your head backwards, yeah? And then I'm, I'm coming here. And then, yes, yes, that's it. Now grab your lift down. Nice. Now kind of pull me up and step over to the top. Yes. There you go. Cool. Does anybody need to shoot again? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, one more time. I'll Okay, so he's here. Get a little base in his arm. When he goes to disconnect, here. Right there. Little wrist lock right here. All right, one, two.